Hello artists! Today I will demonstrate three options for adding color to the Notre Dame Cathedral line drawings you created during our last art class. The first option uses crayons. You can also add texture by coloring over produce netting. The second option uses a black water-based marker and water to create a watercolor effect. The third option uses water-based markers in a variety of colors to create a drawing that resembles the light shows that were cast on Notre Dame's facade. I gathered beige, tan, brown, gray, and black crayons for the cathedral and blue and violet crayons for the sky. I also had some scrap paper on hand so that I could test various color combinations. I also tried coloring over produce netting to see what type of texture it provided. You can use produce netting if you'd like, or you can use um, anything else that has texture to it and just place your scrap paper over it, color over it, and if you like it, you could use that on your final drawing. When I was ready to add color to my line drawing, I selected the lightest color, in this case a beige, and applied the first layer of color. I wanted to apply many layers of color, so I was careful to keep my pressure very light. After I applied my first layer of color, I selected a different crayon and applied a second layer of color over the first, again applying very light pressure. Applied several light layers of color before placing produce netting under the paper and coloring over it to create texture that resembled the surface of Notre Dame's outer walls. Although Notre Dame is known for its magnificent stained glass windows, from the outside of the building, the windows appear dark, so I used black to fill in the windows and dark brown for the doors. I wanted the background to look like the night sky, so I applied very light layers of dark blue and violet.
for option number two, I went over all of the permanent ink lines on the cathedral with a water-based black marker. I dipped a cotton swab in water and used it to moisten all the marker lines. If you prefer, you could use a paintbrush instead of a cotton swab. As the ink began to bleed or run, I spread it over the facade. When I was satisfied with the way that my artwork looked, I set my paper aside to dry. I left the background white, but you could add color using crayons, colored pencils, or markers. For option number three, I wanted my finished artwork to resemble the colorful light shows that were cast on Notre Dame's facade. I chose water-based markers in a variety of colors to go over all of the permanent ink lines. I dipped a cotton swab in water and used it to moisten all the marker lines. If you prefer, you could use a paintbrush instead of a cotton swab. As the ink began to bleed or run, I spread it over the facade. If I forgot to add color to a certain line, I just went back and used the colored marker to add it and then added some more water. When I was satisfied with the way that my artwork looked, I set my paper aside to dry. I left the background white, but you could add color using crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Since the light shows take place at night, you might want to color the background um, with dark blue and violet, or cut it out and glue it onto a piece of black construction paper. I would love to see your finished artwork Please take a photo of it and attach it to Google Classroom. I hope you enjoyed this assignment.